Um, I definitely grew up having to hide being gay um, from my family. Um, so while I didn't directly grow up in Orange County, uh, my family and I, we lived in Fontana, but every Sunday my mom and dad would take me and my sister to Orange County and go to like Little Saigon and, um, you know, eat all the food around here. And we, that's how we bonded as a family. But that whole time I felt really afraid to tell them because of just, you know, I grew up um, in the 90s, the early 2000s, and it was still a very homophobic time. I mean, now it's still a homophobic time too, uh, but in a different way. <laughs> uh, but things were definitely more hush-hush back then. And I didn't really get to tell my parents until college, and I went to, I moved away for college. And so when I was home um, during winter break, um, I was with I had a boyfriend at the time and we actually, we took photos and made a holiday card. Uh, but I didn't give it to my parents because they didn't, I wasn't out yet to them. But I forgot the cards on my bed uh, before I went back to college. So then when I came back home for spring break, the cards were very neatly stacked on my nightstand. And later that day at dinner time, my mom asked me a series of questions. She said, you know, hey, do you have a girlfriend yet? I'm like, no, I just, you know, I feel like every gay person says this excuse, but I was like, oh, I need to study, you know, <laughs> like college is very hard. I don't have time. And then she asked me, do you like girls? Mm. And I remember that moment very vividly. My heart started pounding a lot. And I was like, okay, well, I think she already knows um, because those cards were neatly stacked on the nightstand. And she's asking this question, so I thought, okay, like this is the moment. So I told her, no, I'm gay, I like boys. And my dad, the first thing he said to me was, Gong Gong Di Bak Like he thought I was mentally ill. And I told him, being gay is not a, a mental disease, it's not a mental illness. And my sister, she started crying because uh, she's very protective. She's younger, but she's very protective of me. And she said to my parents, why don't you love him? Like, if my child was gay, I would love him no matter what. And my mom said something I didn't expect. My mom said, it's not that we don't love James, we love James, but we just don't understand. Mm -hmm. And I think that was the best thing I could have asked for at that time. 